it's Philippines Independence Day today people and that means only one thing we gotta celebrate with a little freedom jump this one is for you Philippines what better way to start Filipino Independence Day than with a little freedom fly right and with a beautiful view of Manila. All right, so this is the plan. Amy and I are gonna head over to Rizal Park. That is the place that you have to be at to celebrate Independence Day in the Philippines in the most authentic manner. I am so ready. I got my Philippines. My Buhai jeepney shirt on with the Filipino colors. I don't think I could be more prepared for Filipino Independence Day for our first Filipino Independence Day. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Happy Independence Day. Oh, thank you. Yes. Independence Day yeah. here in the Philippines. Yes. I'm really Let excited. I'm so excited. My Buhai. You have a nicer shirt than me. I do. Way nicer. Look at all these beautiful colors. Thank you, thank you for <laughs> appreciating. <laughs> My pleasure. It's just way too easy to appreciate the Philippines. Not even <laughs> yeah. a challenge. There is a raising of the flag, yep. but that is very early. And I'm not very good at waking up very early. I like sleeping in. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll see that. But I think throughout the entire day, there's festivities, there's parades, you can get food all over the place, Ooh, so. I like the sound of that. <laughs> yeah, I like the sound of that a lot. So I'm really excited. I, we both haven't been to Rizal Park yet. No, 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 this will be our first, first time, time in Rizal Park as well. I've never been there. Yeah. So that is gonna be really cool. Um, I just did a little bit of reading because I didn't know much about Filipino Independence Day, but I think if you're gonna go somewhere to celebrate, you gotta learn something about it. That is the point, right? So, Filipino Independence Day happened on quiz time. <laughs> June 12th, 1898. And it happened right after the Spanish lost the Battle of Manila against the Americans. There were a few Filipino revolutionary leaders in exile in Hong Kong. Oh. They were fighting against the Spanish uh, colonists. And then after the Battle of Manila Bay, when the Americans defeated the Spanish, they took control of the Spanish colonial government and they um, allowed some of these revolutionary leaders, one of them being Emilio Aguinaldo back to the Philippines and then like oh. within a month Aguinaldo signed June 12th as Filipino Independence Day. Wow. I think that's how it went from what I read. I might have made a few mistakes but you guys I'm sure will educate me if I did but I think I got the general gist of it. I think I got it fairly correct hopefully. So that's what we're celebrating yes. today. Do you know where is the first rise the flag? Uh, can I guess? Uh, is it Cavite? Yes, Cacauit Cavite. Yes, I got it right, Cavite. All right, we have arrived. Rizal Park. It's looking really nice. It is really big it, and really beautiful. It's really busy here right now. So many people, so many flags waving in the wind, and there's just a perfect little breeze today. I think they did that on purpose because there's so many flags around. So they, you know, they uh, amped the, the breeze up a little bit. Wow, we got so lucky. Yeah. Right on time to see the changing of the guards ceremony. Yeah. That's so cool. They're standing right in front of this huge monument 
of Rizal. That's a really cool monument. Yeah, wow. That really is very cool. And there's like flowers. I bet you this must be where they must have done the raising of the flag this morning. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think. This is really, really oh, nice. This one. It's this one. The big flag. The big flag is right behind us. Wow, that's epic. That's giant. That's the biggest, strongest flagpole I've ever seen in my entire life. That is a flag of epic proportions, right? Yeah. Giant, wow. House of Representatives. The first Congress. Yeah. Oh, wow. 1946 and 1949, the first Congress of the Republic of the Philippines. We're learning quite a lot today. This is a Filipino history day. Look at what we found here at the entrance of Rizal Park. An epic Filipino flag. Happy Independence Day, Philippines. All right, as much as I love carrying this flag around, it's gonna make it hard to vlog. So let's see if somebody else wants it. Hello. 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 Yes. What did you say? What did you say? Thank you. Thank My you pleasure. For... Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, the vibes are so nice here. I'm really glad we came here. There's events all through the city we saw, but I think this is the best place oh, to be. Yeah. Military man. Yeah. This is really cool. I like the uniforms, by yeah, the way. The, uni really cool. the uniforms are so cool. I like the red, like the, what do you call it? The maroon. Color. Yeah, the maroon crimson. Yeah. Right, like the crimson dark red. Their belts are really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it is really cool with the yellow yeah. and the white pants. They're going onto the park now, I think. I think, I think something's they, happening. I think they're performing. You wanna watch? Yeah. Let's watch. As always, all the Filipinos are chilling in the shade. I think they're the clever ones. Yeah, they're, they're the smart ones. I'm gonna be burning. As only those with strong arms and highly proficient in the rifle drill execution can qualify. All right, so we just saw that. So that wasn't the army, right? That was the no, National that Police, Police Academy. The National Police Academy. So that was cool. They had um, like a ceremony. Yeah, the, the drill team. That was the top, right? Like yeah. the top 20 of the 2020 cohort something like that yeah yeah that's that like cool very good I just want to take a look at this fountain because this is epic Wow <laughs> I've never seen a fountain like this have you Neither have I this is so cool I have to say Rizal Park is super super nice yeah it's very green very clean and Look show at these fountains. Them that yeah. fountain. I gotta it show. I gotta show them, right? Yeah. I got. Show. Gotta do it. All right. Come on, guys. That is so cool. I've never seen anything like it. It's like a candy floss fountain. Yeah, or like a snowball. Yeah. This is Matteo Carino. He revolted against the Spanish colonists. A hero of the Filipino people. And there are many, many more heroes being celebrated here in Rizal Park. Hello. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Philippine independence. <laughs> Woo. All right, we bought some water. It is hot today, wow. My face is like a waterfall. Yeah. Yours is as well. Yeah. Gotta stay hydrated. Don't want anything happening to us. Not yeah. on such a glorious day. But kudos to the military people who are marching. Wow. I really uniform. respect those guys. <laughs> yeah. In uniform, doing physical activity 
and they do it with a straight face without breaking a sweat. <laughs> That's hardcore. We you, barely walk 10 meters and we're... You don't want to mess with those guys, <laughs> no. really, you don't. But yeah, so we're in Result Park. Now, Amy, I know a little bit about Jose Rizal, but she doesn't, so let's put her on the spot. Hello. Do you know who Jose Rizal is? He is a very famous Filipino, a, a scholar. Yes, right? yes, that's right. He is a scholar. Yeah. He studied at Ateneo de Manila University. He was one of the leading heroes, Filipino heroes, against the Spanish colonizers. And he advocated for political reform during the Spanish occupation. Yeah. And this is his park. I mean, even during our travels in the Philippines, yeah. you see that so many libraries and monuments yeah. and parks are, are named after him. I think he's roads as well. Yeah, and roads. Uh, I think he's one of the biggest heroes in the Philippines. Yeah. Like he's a very famous. All right, we found Filipino food in Rizal Park and it looks delicious. So much selection. I'm seeing chicken. Oh yeah, my mouth is watering. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good, <laughs> great. Good day, right? Yeah. Can I get this, please? Now this is what I'm talking about. Celebrating Filipino Independence Day with some beautiful local homemade Filipino food. Is there any better way to do this? I don't think so. Thank you. I'll have that. What are you gonna eat, Kel? That was mine. Uh, I ordered chicken curry and I think chicken in tomato sauce. It's legit so good. Nothing beats the local carinderia food. No big restaurant chain beats that. Just the authentic homemade stuff. Yes. Mm. All right. Now it's Amy's turn to eat. He I ate all my food. No, I didn't. I didn't. I share. I gave you like three grains of rice. That's a lot, right? They have like all these government departments here in uh, Resort Park at the moment. I think they're like maybe recruiting interested people. Yeah. Or they're just maybe informing, yeah. you know, about their departments, what they do. What? Department of Agriculture. Yeah, this one's popular. Yeah. Whoa. Look at the fountain now. Now, this is a fountain worthy of Independence Day. Wow, so more people marching in. This time they have different uniforms. Yeah, So I think I think this must be the army then. Oh. I think. Really cool uniforms. <clears throat> It makes me feel so small, standing next to a man in uniform. Feel like a little, little kid. I like a man in uniform. Where do I get one of those awesome Filipino army uniforms? I need it ASAP. I can't compete with that. That's really cool. So that was the Philippine Air Force, yeah. the marching band, right? Yeah. And they're playing the Star Wars theme. All right, guys, little known fact. Those colors, blue, white, red, are the Filipino colors, but they're also the Dutch colors. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. I think it symbolizes a strong connection. Yep. That's why, that's why I'm loving it here so much. We just, two peas in a pot. That's what it is. All right, we are on our way out. This was an incredibly cool experience. 
only once a year can you even experience like this. I'm so happy we yeah, happened we to be were, in Manila yeah, yeah. at the time of the Filipino Independence Day. This flag. Look at how, just the sheer size of it. It's so epic. All right, people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified of all the new videos coming out. Peace out, take it easy.